It's Tonya, and as has become my custom, I want to show you what I got up to over the weekend doing some painting and then I'm going to memory plan. But I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I was doing because, and I'm, I'll show you, now we'll ignore that one, <laughs> ignore all of those, uh, ignore that. Oh, I was testing some pens and we won't even talk about that. But yes, what I, what I had the, oh, wonderful time of, no, cut, let's go with something else. Um, um, I was fortunate enough, hubby, his family has a little beach house right on, literally right on the beach in Hansby, and we went there for the weekend, just hubby and I, he wanted to brew some beer and we have a water crisis here, but they don't have water crisis there, so we went there so he could brew his beer and there's nothing else for me to do but relax and read and paint and that's what I did. So I decided, what I decided to do was go through my paints and whittle them down to the ones that I like the most and I'm going to use and I discovered in that process that I had a lot that were very similar in colour. Oh and yeah okay um poor thing I like her hair it's probably about the only thing really and she's got really sparkly eyes if you look closely those are Jane Devonport sparkle markers yeah and that that is a colour swatch of the paints I had left that I whittled down so I was quite pleased about that so yeah, so all I did was I went through them and I noticed, like you'll see here, that I had paints that looked very, very, very similar. So I didn't see the point in having paints of a similar variety. And do I have my book the right way around? Nope, it's upside down. Not that it really matters. So I didn't see the point of having, I mean, if you look at those two, they're practically identical, of having the same colours in my palette. So I did a what I thought was a great job and it was so much fun okay I got a bit impatient didn't want to wait for it to dry it was so uh, yeah I did that we won't talk about that okay it was so much fun to do and I spent hours doing it <laughs> so yeah so that was what I got up to there and oops wrong way around oh yes I'm still attempting the still attempting the vases of flowers really really poor attempt and then I decided to just do a rainbow because I was getting frustrated with myself and then I was testing out my colours yet again you know doing with the the black and seeing how which ones are opaque I think these are all the colours that I ended up with and I don't know what that is and again what a sad attempt and then I decided to give myself a break and do something which was easy and pretty and so I decided to to do some flowers it's actually not bad, is it? I mean, it's colourful, right? And then, where's my... Oh, okay, so that was that one. And that's the nice thing about having so many art journals, I took these all with me, is that... Uh, oops, we're not talking about that. Well, we haven't got there yet. Is that uh, you can use them all at the same time, so you don't really have to wait too long for the paint to dry. And again, yes. I don't know what these are meant to be. <laughs> And here again, you see I'm testing all of the colours out and there are loads of colours that are very, very similar. And yeah, my cat is going to join us if you hear him, I apologise. That again, that one, I don't know. But I was proud of that one. I, uh, those were Jane, Jane Davenport's uh, markers and I've got hair everywhere. So yes, yeah, so what I ended up with and hopefully this video is not going to get too long because I don't think my memory planner is going to be too long. And yes, this is this is a little case that I sometimes use when I want to transport things and it holds a lot. So yes, so what I ended up with, as you can see, <laughs> it's like the never-ending bag of stuff coming out, isn't it? Uh, is, this is, and we can just get that out of the way. Okay, this is my palette my customized palette for now that's what that's what was in there okay and I've whittled it down to this and some people will be very pleased to see that I have not cleaned okay but but I will admit that when I took all these out I did clean them because they get really sticky and gungy so that is that and the ones that didn't make the cut I put in here so those because I had similar and 
So yeah, I'm not going to get rid of them, obviously, because, I mean, they're paints and they're nice and they're expensive and all the rest of it, but I have them so that if I, when I run out of these, I can then replace them with the similar colours. And what I have to do next, this stuff's going to fall on the floor if I'm not careful, what I have to do next is then incorporate my White Nights and Prima, because I've sorted this out the other day, so I have these colours that I like, so I need to see from these colours which ones are the same as that, get rid of them, and then see if I can... Hmm, that's going to be interesting, hey? Putting full pans in there. But we'll, 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 we'll look at it and see what, see what I can do. So yeah, so that was fun. I enjoyed it. And I am now going to print the photos and do my memory planning spread. So yeah, I'll see you in the voiceover. Well, well you, you'll hear me. Yeah, so as I normally do, I've picked out some product and they are all stickers. These ones are from Pink Fresh and it's the Summer Lights, Summer Lights Collection. And yes, it's got a lot of holographic on it. So unfortunately, with the way my setup is, it tends to get a bit uh, shiny. So I apologize for that. But yes, it's just a case of looking at the stickers, deciding where to put them. I only printed out, s well, made photographs of some of the spreads that I showed you in the beginning of this video and then I had a torrid time because I ran out of sprocket paper and it wasn't printing nicely and I was getting all frustrated so I figured I would just print on my normal printer and then I got a piece of paper stuck in my printer and oh my gosh you would have thought the world had ended but my husband came to the rescue he's very handy dandy is he he's uh, he can do all sorts of useful things like plumbing and and fixing printers and <laughs> all these kind of things he's very much a geek and uh, yeah he's he's fantastic and it's it's really useful to have somebody who knows how to change a light bulb and that kind of thing I mean yes I am I am an emancipated woman I should be able to change my own light bulbs but uh, I'm also short and uh, it's useful if you've got a tall man around who can do it for you so there we go a little bit of uh, philosophy on, on how it's useful to have a man around the house <laughs> so yeah I'm just putting stickers down I've got these smiley faces all over the show and I put the hexagons down all over the show and I then put all my photographs down and it's just a case of throwing the stickers on the page and yes making sure they're straight you know can't have a crooked sticker and the reason why I'm putting a lot of the love down and a lot of the phrases that talk about being together and great times and things is because as I said my hubby and I went down to the beach house and it was just the two of us and yeah we always have a nice time down there it's incredibly difficult not to relax down there I'm so fortunate uh, it's obviously not my place it's it's his family's place but I get to enjoy it so that's a uh, that is nice and I think we're going down again sometime soon because he has he's made the beer now and now it's got to what does it do it's got to ferment doesn't it or or um what what does beer do well anyway it gets all gassy and stuff so <laughs> I don't drink beer I drink a lot of wine but not beer so I was just briefly showing you there that I used a jelly roll souffle pen to do my writing because I'm now deciding that it's quite fun to have pens of different colors in here so I've just noted down the fact that I enjoyed the weekend and how you know some of these spreads are hmm they're okay and, and how I enjoyed customizing my palette and all of that stuff and whether I should just move on to the next lesson of a REITs class because I seem to have got stuck in the vase of flowers and I'm not going anywhere you know it's all that stuff <laughs> I don't know it's it's not a very easy pen to write with so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see in the still the journey but if you can and if you really want to, you can pause and read it it's it's not uh, groundbreaking stuff and it's definitely not the next best novel I thought I could put that sort of surfboard behind the little beach hut there but uh, no just it was too big and of course the the stickers tie in quite nicely because it was at the beach not that I went to the beach oh golly there's something I must tell you about one day I think I did tell it in one of my previous videos but yes that that beach it's on the rocks um, that beach tried to kill my children 
yeah, both of them in one go. Fortunately, it didn't manage it, but, and oh my gosh, my head. Uh, that was the scariest moment of my entire life. So yes, but uh, that was many, many years ago now. And yes, I still resent the sea when I go there and I glare at it and I tell it it, uh, it was not a nice sea, but uh, it is nature and one should respect it. And yes, we learnt a very healthy respect for that ocean we did. <laughs> But that's got absolutely nothing to do with this. This is more about my journey and the painting and the, mm, the little pretty, they're Maggie Holmes, aren't they, those word phrases? And yes, this again is the uh, Pink Paisley. And those are, and this is a little unfortunate, I think not all stickers are created equal. These came with the, the planner, the Jane Davenport planner, and yeah, some of them peel off nicely and some of them don't. It's just, uh, it's just one of those things. But yes, I'm coming to the end, so I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll do another one next time. Bye -bye. <music>